let me explain you the attendance management system which will help you to understand that when the system will mark a person absent or present once the absent present is marked payment days will be calculated this will be a simple way to explain you if you understand this flow it will become easier for you to understand entire attendance and leave management when a person comes to office the person will check in or check out now check out and check in data will definitely help to understand whether a person is present in office or not and what if person is not in office there might be then leave or there might be an official trip which a person is having outside or there must be some other reason it can be either the check in and check out or it can be something else if it is check in and check out then the person will check in and check out so if biometric device is there so the person will check in and check out using the biometric device if the person is not checking in and checking out using the biometric device then there might be an option to check in and check out in the system directly using the app or web or another way would also be that there is a manual check in check out in some cases there might be a scenario where there is a supervisor who is noting down the time of everyone and then updating the check in and check out data in the system or uploading using excel sheet on daily basis so that is one way of check in and check out of course the data will be coming into the systems from all the places here check in is by 8 o'clock check out is by 5 o'clock or check in is by 9 o'clock check out is by 4 o'clock so how it will be validated it means that shift types must be defined in the system the validation process will be done by the system these are user related tasks or this is a script task a script will be validating check in and check out here also will be another validation which will be holiday list validation which means that if an employee has not come to office saturday sunday or whatever public holidays or declared holidays are there if the employee is not in office on that day the script will validate that so based on that the system will mark the attendance so this is one way of marking the attendance but if you remember person is not physically coming to office or person has not been able to check in and check out or person has come late or has left early so because of validation the day will be marked as present or absent if a person had some official commitment outside person could not check in during the time allocated that person has to go through the attendance request so once the attendance request is approved so the person will be immediately marked as present with this validation process person gets automatically marked of course if a person is automatically marked absent or present and system will not allow to override this that is the reason we make a delay here from the validation process till the system marks automatic attendance it will be 7 days course giving a grace period for the employees to get their attendance mark and approve within 7 days otherwise this check in and check out will mark the attendance automatically erp next will mark the attendance and once the attendance is marked you cannot override that for example if the attendance is marked as absent you cannot mark that attendance present if the attendance has already been marked as present the system will also not be able to mark as absent so system will see that based on validation the employee was not on time so mark the employee as absent when the system will try to mark absent it is already been marked present through this process so that's why this time delay is there now depending upon how long you want to give the employees you can add this delay now it could also be another reason it is not only attendance request maybe it might be a leave application we will add another gateway here so is it a leave application so submit leave application so once it is approved then the person will be marked as on leave these are the three scenarios which we have discussed one could be the employee is checking in and checking out using the biometric device otherwise employee is checking in and checking out using the web browser or using an app which is provided to employee or another way could be that there is a supervisor who is manually adding and based on that data check in and check out is validated by the system holiday list is validated by the system and after a certain delay the attendance for the employee is marked and alternatively if the attendance request is submitted will go through an approval process and once it is approved the day will be marked as present absent or on leave so employee has to submit the leave application approver will approve the leave application and once it is approved the day will be marked as on leave then there might be a manual upload of attendance or manual marking of the attendance so these are three different ways which i have mentioned here and based on this of course as i mentioned 
that the attendance will be marked one method is check-in and check-out and if check-in and check-out is not there another way could be the attendance request or leave application or manual upload attendance from all of these four different options the day will be marked either as absent present or leave if you have understood this entire flow it will help you to understand the attendance management and leave management within any erp system or any attendance management system so let us move to next lecture and understand how it can be done using the software